Any traveler to Denver Airport, Colorado is in for a scary experience. This airport has been the subject of many questions due to the unexplainable symbols, images, and stories that have surfaced. Denver Airport was built in 1995 on a span of 53 square miles. Even though Denver already had a functioning airport, a new one was decidedly built. This new airport had less runways and absolutely no new technological advancement. The only thing that this new airport has that the old one didn't is a strangely large amount of space. When looking at an aerial shot of the new airport, the layout has shocked many. Denver Airport's runways have been situated in such a way that resembles a Nazi swastika. Not only has the shape of Denver Airport been called to question, but also what is located inside. But who is in charge of all the weird nuances at this airport? The general consensus is that it is the New World Order. But who are the New World Order? Well, they are an elite group of individuals that include many of the world's wealthiest the people, world such as well-known political leaders and those related to the British Crown. But their main goal is to create one united world government that has no regional boundaries. But this would only be possible in one way, and that is to commit a mass genocide and narrow down the world's population to two billion people. Their reasoning for this thought is because there would be more control. Denver Airport has a myriad of symbols that are correlated to the New World Order. There is a dedication stone in the airport that mentions the New World Airport Commission. However, there is no such thing. The New World Airport Commission is made up and was never created. One can only assume that it is alluding to the New World Order. Also, there is a plate on the floor that shows the symbols AUAG. Some may say that this is related to gold and silver. However, one of the sponsors of the airport discovered a new deadly strain of hepatitis known as Australian antigen, and this is also symbolized by AUAG. What is scary is that this symbol is located right in front of a mural on a wall that is about genocide. But let's talk more about the murals in Denver Airport. The murals located in the airport are the most notable features of this airport. The main mural stretches over four walls and was painted by Chicano artist Leo Tanguma, who was in fact Mayan. The first mural here shows three dead women, an African, a Native American, and a young Jewish girl. In the background, we can see the destruction of a city and a forest. This attempts to show the destruction of the world. Another notable part of this mural is the fact that there is a little girl carrying a Mayan tablet. This alludes to the Mayan date of December 21st, 2012. This is when the Mayans predict that the world is going to go through a rebirth phase. The main emphasis of this mural, once again, is the destruction of the world and the preservation of some life. The second mural shows a huge military figure wearing a gas mask and holding a machine gun and a sword. This sword is stabbing a dove which is the symbol for peace and implies that peace will be destroyed. There are grayish waves emanating from the figure and these waves represent death or in this case a poisonous gas that has killed everyone in its path. This mural is the one with the AUAG symbol, the one that is related to the deadly virus strain. One can also see a line of weeping women holding their dead infants and a group of dead children on a pile of bricks. The emphasis of this mural is of, of a cleansing that is going to kill a myriad of people in its path. However, interestingly enough, 
This mural has been painted over. The third mural shows all of the children of the world taking their weapons from each country and giving them to a German boy, who is then molding them into something else. All the children of this scene are of different ethnicity and all seem to be relieved. The gas mask man in the previous mural is seen dead and there are two doves perched on his body. The main emphasis of this mural is to show the return of peace after all the killings have taken place and that there will be no more need for weapons in this perfect world. The final mural has a Jesus-like figure in the middle who is holding a plant which symbolizes rebirth. All of the people are running towards this man with happy expressions. Animals are freely roaming and everything seems to be in perfect harmony. This final mural alludes to a new Garden of Eden where the world is perfect size and everything who work together in peace after the genocide that has taken place. All in all, these murals, when put together, represent the formation of a new world filled with fewer people. And this is also the goal of the New World Order, which has been seen represented throughout various parts of the airport. The symbology of the airport can still be debated, but one thing that cannot be questioned is the fact that there has been a lot of mysterious construction work underneath Denver Airport. When first constructing the airport, there were originally five buildings. But, out of the blue, the builders were ordered to bury the buildings underground because they were supposedly built wrong. Normally, a building that is built wrong would be demolished. But in this case, it was not. This allowed for an underground base to be created. But there are still workers who are sent to work in these underground bases periodically. But when they are questioned about the nature of their work, they all refuse to comment. These underground bases have been going under more construction and now have underground tunnels that connect all the buildings together. According to a contractor, these tunnels have a strange sprinkler system that was added onto the roofs of the tunnel. But this sprinkler system has no valid use as these tunnels are concrete and underground. If relating these sprinkler systems back to the sign of AUAG in front of the mural regarding genocide, then one must begin to wonder what the use of a sprinkler in a concrete tunnel 150 feet below the ground would be. These underground bases appear to be holding rooms due to the sheer mass and size, and some say that they even allude to concentration camps. This is because, one, these holding rooms have no purpose, and when the airport authori authorities were questioned, they say that they are merely being used for storage. And two, all the barbed wire fences face the inside of the airport, rather than facing the outside, which is what they usually do. This implies that they are trying to keep things in, rather than keep things out. And three, the sprinkler systems have no use, but they may be related to the deadly virus Australian antigen and the pursuits of the New World Order. People have attempted to argue that the underground bases are being used for storage. But one fact must be questioned, and that is, why is the underground base 88.5 square miles long? And why were the five buildings mysteriously buried? No airport has or needs that much storage room. So what is this space really being used for? Whenever the authorities are questioned, they are not allowed to answer. We are not the only ones who seem to be fascinated with this airport. The Queen of England, alongside many other famous European royalty and politicians, are hurriedly buying property close to the airport under an alias. One can only assume 
that they must feel that there is something significant about this airport in order to do so. It is very easy to dismiss a conspiracy theory, but it is not hard to dismiss cold, hard facts that surround them. The odd happenings in this airport have been called to question, but all the questions have been dismissed and have not been answered. Is the New World Order really going to attempt to take over? And if they are, does that mean that our own government is involved? Research nowadays can only do so much. Now, only time will tell. This is Zara Malik, News and Views.